So if you are the person that is living a narcissistic relationship, you might as well experience a hover. At least, I believe, everybody that has been involved with a narcissist, they have also seen the hover, okay? The hover has come in. Maybe one of them or two of them, three of them. Personally, it was only one. Me personally, it was one. The narcissist is going to hover you for a couple of major reasons, which I've already talked about before, but there's one reason I'm going to talk about today. The narcissist is going to hover you because they do not want you to heal, okay? When they discard you, you guys have gone through a discard. They want you to go out there and of course, you know, you nurse the wounds because they have already inflicted so much on you, so many wounds on you, and they give you some time to go out there and, uh, you know, nurse the wounds and, you know, a little bit get yourself back up together. But I'll tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, this is something I keep on seeing. The narcissist will come. The moment they know that you're a little bit better, okay? You're no longer crying, out, okay? So you've stopped crying and, you know, because these are guys that will keep on monitoring you. They'll keep on checking up on you and, you know, driving by your place and showing up everywhere. But, um... The moment they feel and they sense that you're getting to some place on that journey of healing, you're starting to heal, they're going to come in, okay? So they do not expect you to go out there and uh, do a lot of work on yourself, you know, you start healing. Because you see, those people know that when you recover fully, when you heal and you recover fully, and this is something that, that's something that I've always seen. They know that all the doors are going to be shut. They know that they're not going to get any other chance into your life, back into your life. It's going to be very difficult because the more you heal, is the more you start to understand your self-worth, okay? The more you start to realize the pain that has been going on in your life with those individuals, and the more you start to understand your self-worth. You recognize your self-worth and you really know who you are. So now, after the healing, you don't want to get involved with those individuals who are a part of your pain in the first place. Me personally, I do not know anyone that has been healed, has healed. And they have gone back with the narcissist for the relationship. I do not know anybody like that. I know people that have kind of nursed their wounds for a little bit. And they have gotten back for the hoover. And they have gotten back with the narcissist. But I do not know anybody that has fully recovered after narcissistic abuse. And they have gone back into the, they have gone back into those narcissistic relationships. I do not know anybody like that. If you're a person who is in that in that category and you've done that, you have healed, and then you have gone back to stay with the narcissist, then I, I'm not so sure that you really know what you're doing. You know, the narcissist will usually keep on checking on you. They'll keep a tag on you. Okay, they will send some flying monkeys to spy on you. They will send uh, you. Know, they will keep on monitoring your social media. Because they know that they have done so much harm on your body and your spirit. And they want to know what you're doing with yourself, okay? So it's not about spying on you because, of course, they feel that, okay, so there's a lot of things you're doing for yourself or things like that. They're only coming around to spy on you and to check on you. Because they can know, okay, so this person has nursed a couple of the wounds. But at the same time, they don't want to... So what, they, what they're trying to do, that's the reason, why, the reason why I've told you guys. The narcissist is coming in, back in, to cut those wounds even deeper. Is why, you've hear, is why you've heard people talking about when the narcissist comes in for the second time or the third time, the abuse is going to intensify. So they are going to even abuse you and destroy you more because they do not want you in whichever way to heal. The only way the narcissist will let you go and they release you, okay, so they know that this person is a gold case, they, have, they, you know, they will count their losses, and they let you go forever permanently is when they know that you are fully recovered from that relationship because now they know you have remembered who you are you have remembered your self-worth and you have now learned those lessons that you went through they will never come back in your life so they keep on coming in and out so sometimes you can see those hovers coming in one year you know one month sometimes even two months sometimes even three months even sometimes, even a very long period of time, a narcissist can try to over you after two years. But normally, after two years, a person has healed a great deal. 
And there's no way they can ever come around in your life to manipulate you and to gaslight you and to steal from you, whatever, to abuse you. It's not possible, you know? At that point in time, you have fully recovered. And you do not want anything to do with those energy vampires. You have no, you have no business with them whatsoever. So the reason why you see those guys, they are coming in every time, every now and then, interrupting your healing process. You know, you've been crying. You know, you've left here, you've gone through a discard. You've been out there, you've been crying day and night, you've been seeing therapists, you've been putting a lot of money, energy, investments in yourself. You've been doing everything you can to heal. And then you've done some work on yourself, you feel like you're getting to a better place in life, spiritual and emotional and mentally. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, they just appear, out of the blue. It's not a coincidence. They are feeling, they are feeling, you see, there's this energetic thing that you have put within us. There's this trauma bond that you guys have. And the more you heal, is the more they feel that this detachment is happening. So there's this emotional detachment. The more you heal, is the more you're breaking out of that bond, that emotional connection with them. And most of the times, because this is a spiritual thing, energetic thing going on between the two of you, they normally feel it that this person is actually healing out of the trauma bond. Okay? So they have got to come in very, very fast to make sure that they suck you back in before you get out of that trauma bond. Because the trauma bond has been put there in place as a trap. They have used the trauma bond to trap you so that whenever you, be, you will be thinking about leaving them, you go out there trying to work on yourself, you always think about them wherever you go. Okay? So there are those very deep emotional hooks that they put very deep in your skin. To make it extremely impossible and difficult to live. That explains why sometimes a few days, maybe sometimes a few weeks, maybe a few months, after you guys have gone through the whatever uh, separation, you know, you're missing them. You can feel that addiction. You know, there's something that you have with them. It's like a very toxic addiction. You know that these people they are toxic. You know that they don't they do not mean well for you. You know that they're very dangerous to be around. But at the same time, you feel like you want to be around them. So that thing is a toxic addiction. That thing is brought about by the trauma bond. There's a very deep trauma bond that you have got with, it, uh, with those, those individuals. So for me, one of the things what I did when I was healing after abuse, I gave myself a period of three months. I didn't want to see the narcissist. I didn't want to communicate. I didn't want to call them. I didn't want to make any form of discussion with them. Because those months, those first three months are very crucial. They are the ones which are going to determine your healing. So for a person who, for most of you guys who have been hearing us, we've been telling you, when you leave the narcissist, okay, so go no contact. Go no contact is a very big word. And it should not be underestimated because that going no contact is helping you to detach from those individuals. You will, be, you, you will have detached physically eventually, but also you're going to have to detach emotionally. So the only way you can detach emotionally from those guys is by not calling them and contacting them because anytime you get a contact with them, SMS or a message or an email or a phone call, that thing is going to reactivate the trauma bond. The trauma bond is inside of you, okay? It has been planted there for a reason, for a purpose, that they can always come back in and suck you back in whenever they want to, okay? So that's the reason why you hear a lot of coaches, they are telling you that it is very, very difficult, ladies and gentlemen, to leave those people. If you're a person who has been having that trauma bond for, uh, for, for a very long period of time, for years, you are going to struggle to fight and to break out of that trauma bond. It's going to require you out of work, okay? But you've got to know that those, your abusers, they do not have any intention for you to go out there, you know? And then, of course, you've been doing some work on yourself. You've been healing. You've been understanding your worth and your value. The more you come to that peace and that freedom, that, 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 that thing whereby you have unhooked all these emotional wounds out of your skin. I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, those people are going to look like poison. A person who has healed, a healed empath who has done a lot of work on themselves, and they ever meet a narcissist, is them is 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 for example, for them look is it feels the same as looking at poison. It's like looking at poison. You do not want to do anything with a narcissist, not the narcissist that you used to date, and is not a narcissist that you may meet in the future because you are going to feel like you're looking at a devil. So you have no business with them whatsoever. The narcissist does not, does not want you to heal because they need that window open. It should be easier for them to come in because when you heal, you're breaking out of a trauma bond. And that is the only thing they had.
to connect you to connect themselves to you so that you can never be able to get away when you heal that when you heal out of that trauma bond the narcissist is going to lose you forever permanently they know that they never ever going to come back in your life so that's why you see they're always coming in to check on you after two months they are people they are, they are popping in after three weeks they're popping in after one month they're popping in after five months they're coming in so they want to see at which level are you at on your healing journey should they figure out that you're starting to heal and get out of their bs and whatever their bullshit they're going to find a way to get you back into their lives and hoover you back into their lives even sometimes you can find people that have been hoovered while the narcissist is still dating somebody else they have already gone on with the new supply they are still dating you're going to see those people they are still getting hoovered even while the narcissist is in a relationship so they will sometimes come around and sleep with you and sometimes go around and sleep with the new uh, with the new supply so that thing can keep on going they do not want you to detach permanently a narcissist they, i know i do not know an narcissist that really wants to let you go permanently for good it cannot happen they need an open window whatever whatever crap that has been going on between the two of you they do not want you to go out there and keep on working on yourself to heal and recover completely because it is going to be the end of them you are never ever going to want to do anything with them so the reason why they don't want you to heal is because they always want to keep on coming back and when they come back in you should still have that emotional connection with them that actually will allow them to get back into your life without hassle so let me not think about this video in the comment section below if you're the person i'm talking about let us know in the comment section below you guys know that i do, I do love and appreciate your support you can book a session with me if you want to you may donate or support my channel if you want to everything you need you will find it in the description below and until then i'll catch you guys in my next one there's more signing out much love and blessings peace